your souls into docking. I want to call your attention. You're not going to have to stand if you can turn your Bible to us since we don't have our screens this morning. Uh, to the 13th chapter of the book of St. Luke. I have two words of scripture I will read, but God just had to go to this one here, and I will read them uh, in your hearing. St. Luke, the 13th chapter. Hallelujah. And I will be reading from the 6th verse down to the 9th verse. That is the 13th chapter of the book of St. Luke. Reading from the 6th verse down to the ninth verse. You may remain seated. You don't have any stand this morning. And it reads like this. A certain man had a fig tree planted in his vineyard. And he came and sought fruit there upon uh, and found none. Then said he unto the dresser of his vineyard, Behold these three years I come seeking fruit on this fig tree. And find none. Cut it down, why come up the ground? And he answered, said unto him, Lord, let it alone this year also, till I shall dig uh, about it and dump it. And if it bear fruit well, and if not, then after that shall be cut down. St. Matthew, 21st chapter of the book of St. Matthew. Brother Sam, we're here, but I'm going to where I want to be at. And I said, well, you hear God confirming what he wants. 20, 21st chapter of the book, St. Matthew. And I was going to read these few verses to you. I will read from the 21st chapter, starting with the 18th verse, down to the 22nd verse. And read like this. Now in the morning, as he returned into the city, he was hungry, hungry. And when he saw a fig tree in the way, he came to it and found nothing thereupon but leaves only. And said unto it, Let no fruit grow on thee henceforth forever. And presently the fig tree withered away. And when the disciples saw it, they marveled, saying, How soon is the fig tree withered away? Jesus answered and said unto them, Verily I say unto you, If you have faith and doubt not, ye shall not only do this which is done to the fig tree, but also if ye shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed and be cast into the sea, it shall be done. And all things whatsoever ye shall ask in prayer, Believe me, ye shall receive. Father, in the most precious name of Jesus, our Lord and Savior, we humble ourselves into the mighty hand of God and give ourselves into your service. We say unto you, Lord, have your way this day in our life. We are a few in number on this morning, Lord God, but hallelujah does not stop us off you from showing up. That does not stop you from performing and acting out the way you want to act in our midst. Uh, right now, Lord God, we submit unto your will. And whatever your will is, Lord God, uh, we will obey, O oh Lord. Uh, Heavenly Father, your voice we want to hear today, Lord God. Uh, we're not looking so much to hear voices of men and women, but we're looking to hear the voice of the Almighty God. Uh, we're here to hear what you've got to say, Lord God. So send your real word, Lord God. Uh, send down that unadulterated word. Uh, that kind of word. The word Almighty God is set free. Uh, the word Almighty God has opened prison doors. Uh, we talk about that mighty word of God, hallelujah, that you use on a day of creation. Uh, when you said, let there be light, then there was light, Almighty God. Uh, when you said, let there be this and let it be that, it was so, Lord God. Uh, so, Lord, you speak your word today to your people. Uh, now, we are your people, Almighty God. Uh, Heavenly Father, we are the sheep of your pastures, Lord God. Uh, so, feed us with a man from on high. Our soul is hungering and thirsty, Lord God, uh, to be filled. Uh, and you told us in your divine word, he that hunger and thirst for right good shall be filled. Uh, and we are hungry and thirsty right now, God. Uh, we want a closer walk with you. Uh, we want, Almighty God, a relationship with you. Uh, how many of you want to get close to you, Almighty God? Uh, we want to be like Brother God and lay his head upon your chest. Uh, Lord God, we want to have, have that closeness, uh, that 
relationship for God. Now, Father, you have your way in this service. Uh, you conducted a blessing in the way that you had to be, Lord God. And help us to submit under the movement of your spirit, Lord God. Hallelujah, because you are in control. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Take it from the part we, that we just read here in Matthew. The subject that I'm using this morning, nothing but leaves. Nothing but leaves. And if I was to use a subtopic, it would be, God is not looking for a tree with leaves, but a tree with fruit. Let me say it again. God is not looking for a tree with leaves, but a tree with fruit. In the article, he told the vine dresser, he said, take it and cut the tree out. Now I'm going to show you the mercy of God, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. When the master told the vine dresser to cut it down, he was the master. That was his, that was his part. The vine dresser just took care of it. And when the master said to him, cut it down, the vine dresser said, Master, let's let it grow just one more year. Let me cultivate around it. Let me dung it. And then if it doesn't bear for, for the, this year, then cut it down. Well, what that is in reality, that is Jesus making an intersection before God the Father for you and I. When God the Father would want to cut you and I off, And he wanted to cut them off. Jesus Christ, the mediator, is standing there and said, Father, give them another chance. Let me call them to the bed. Let me go on and hallelujah. And, 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 and maybe they will come to life. And maybe they will produce. And the father who took fight the master, the master permitted the divine person to do that. Now, I don't know if he came back the next following year if the trees had anything on the board of leave, but I really believe it did because when he said, let me call it in and done it, let me put up on what it had need of to grow, I'm sure that that tree is starting. And that's what God does to you and I all the time. He is calling our hard hearts, our stiff neckness, <coughs> our, our, our awful ways. He's calling it, and then he's taking the firm eyes of the Holy Spirit. And he's taking put that Holy Spirit into our mind, into our heart, into our soul, and into our spirit. And then, because this is taking transformed on the inside, what's on the inside that's got to come out of there? Yes. Is that right? Yeah. You take a grain of corn and drop it in the ground, it's a little grain of corn that goes in that ground. But from that one grain of corn, you can get many ears of corn on its top. Lord, be my why? Because that seed, within that seed, everything that that seed has need of to produce and be what it's supposed to be is already in that seed. And when that seed dies, it germinates, in other words, it's got to die and rot out. What it does, what it does when it says it's rot out, it's really busting open, and the real thing on the inside is beginning to come forth and boost through the ground. So when the storm comes up, and for any of you who've been on, on farm, they think you know anything about stalks of corn. When a stalk come up, there is not just one ear, there's not just two ears, there's many ears on, on one stalk. Because that one stalk came from that little seed. Now if he done that with the seed that caused that stalk to grow, how much more do you and I produce with the spirit and the seed that he had put in us? If we will allow that seed to germinate and let that seed die in us, praise God, that it may blossom forth and, and cause us to have a little to produce outwardly what is going on the inside, we can say we are more than conquerors of men through Jesus Christ that love us. I am going to be a producer and not a leader. I am going to do what God has given me to do and not set to fill a pew. Hallelujah. I refuse. I would not listen to this. Somebody might say, well, be small, that's what you feel about it. I am persuaded. Let every man be persuaded in his own mind. Is that right? I am persuaded that I am not going to stand around and rust out for Jesus. I'm going to work. I'm going to work. I'm going to work. And I am going to wear out for Jesus. Because I know one thing. Everything's body has been just 
glory by thy words. Yet in my flesh shall I see my reward. And I shall see it for myself and not in love. But I must be a fruit bearing tree in this day and time. In this day.